Hey, everybody. Yeah, my name is Rene. I'm a former car designer and now CEO and founder of Novos. And today I want to show you what role design can play in reducing uh, CO2 emissions and probably even to, to save our world. Design, really? Yeah, I guess so. Um, if you have a look at that, uh, this is the CO2 gas emissions in, in Germany over the last 30 years. And yeah, there is a certain decline visible. But what is also visible is that the transport sector on the lower area stays almost constant. So and this transport sector has a share up to 20% of the overall emissions. Um, and if you have a closer look on that, 60% of this transport emissions go up to cars and motorbikes. So and this is 740 million tons of CO2, uh, for example, in the European Union. So, and if you then have an even closer look, um, for example, electric cars, they already have now a share of more than 20% for, for new cars. But for electric motorcycles, it's only 3%. So the question is, why is one sector transforming slower than another one? So, and what is the reason that the motorbike sector can't transform that fast? To be honest, we think that there is some, some certain products, products missing. If we look back already in 2012, there were some products in the market available and they've been quite cheap. They had a reasonable range, but nobody really wanted to buy it. So I would even say rationality failed at that time. But something changed. And then there, there was a startup coming up with a highly emotional product, with something people could, mm, could identify. And now if you have a look on the, on the mo motorbike market, again, there is lots of quite traditional products. But still, the transition is not there. So we are thinking about what could be, what be, could be something like the Tesla did, for the motorbike industry. And why do people obviously uh, change more through inspiration than through rationality? And that's what we do. We created the, what we say, the apex of urban cool, a product you can finally identify with, the coolest thing you can drive in a city, something that inspires people to change. So. If you have a look on the, on the, on the current products, for instance, on, on the left-hand side, um, traditional old, we call it old premium products, they feel a bit like built from old men for old men. They are big and heavy, like a machine you have to control. But Western world trends, they show every, uh, like 80% of people live in cities and it's more important that you have like a light and nimble and easy to use product, something that is way more unisex than so masculine. So, and that's why we created something that is, first of all, what we say, the first disruptive bike design since decades, probably. It's super easy to use, like a smartphone. Um, is, it is as light as a scooter, and it's pretty fast as a Ducati, you can say so. Um, and it's quiet, and it's sustainable. Um, we have plenty of IP-protected uh, technology in there. And the most important thing is if you have a product that is more related to, mm, let's say, everybody than just to bikers, the target group is so much bigger. Uh, we address it to everybody who is also into like, special e-bikes, who loves um, lifestyle products like Remova or Sennheiser. So this is our customer. And this target group is so much bigger than just people who want to go out for a ride during the weekend. Yeah. So what are we doing? We place our first product in a top-down strategy at the end of the uh, spectrum, I would say so. Uh, but it is totally designed for the city instead uh, in comparison to the traditional products that are just for like country roads. Yeah. Um, why is there a good chance to make the transition also now in the motorbike segment? On the left-hand side, on these graphs, you can see the acceleration in sales for electric cars from 2017 to 2022. And in 2017, I was still working um, 
for a big OEM and yeah, the, the board member, they came to me and they just made fun about the new electric cars coming up, like, yeah, they are too expensive, they are not emotional, nobody gonna, gonna buy that. Uh, see what happened, what happened now. And now the same thing happens, or yeah, the same thing happens for the motorbike industry. Numbers are coming up now. The trend is clearly there, and we have a CAGR of 28% in Europe. So that's, that's pretty clear, and I guess the only thing that is missing now is the perfect product. So we built up an advisory board uh, to place Novos as a brand now into the market, and uh, we are fundraising as well. Um, so everybody who's interested, just come and speak to us. Yeah, and to, 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 make it, to make it short, I really believe that it's not just about sustainability. It's not enough if we just say, okay, we reached the climate goals and we're gonna all survive. Life also has to be cool. We have to combine it. It has to be sustainable and cool at the same time. Otherwise, it's, it's worthless. Let's create and build something outstanding, cool, and sustainable. And if you want to see something like that, it's in front of the door.